All right, like it says on the chassis, if you can read this, just send it. So without further ado, let's do that. What's up guys, got the new Arm Italian EXB, a 6S. This is also an RTR, a ready to run version. This is an absolute beautiful looking car. Of course you got your EXB uh, graphics there on the body, which always looks amazing. Got the guitars. Uh, so excited to finally have a uh, another Italian in the stable and uh, for Arma to, uh, to put together another another version of the Italian. Uh, again, it's my all-time favorite RC. Um, that's why I've got you know a couple more. I've got the V3 and the one that I built from scratch uh, using Basher Queen parts as a lightened uh, speed basher. And this truck looks absolutely amazing. We'll pop the lid real quick. Of course, you get all your EXB 7075 uh, shock tower in here and uh, all your bits, your upper suspension blocks. All your uh, chassis braces there. Just a quick little look here. It does have the uh, Firma uh, 2050 kV motor, a uh, 4074. It does have a heat sink on there with no fan, but you can install your own fan. It's got the holes for it right there. And there should be enough body clearance to, uh, to mount a fan. And it does have the uh, Firma 150 amp ESC with the uh, Spectrum S652 servo, which is, uh, I believe, 19.8 or so kilogram. So a little bit more torque than the old 15 kilogram. I did go ahead and swap out the uh, stock 15 tooth pinion that was in here with a 20 tooth. Uh, that's what I normally run on my Italians. It does come with a 23 tooth uh, speed pinion uh, in the pack, but I wouldn't recommend using that for bashing in the dirt and stuff like that because it will definitely overheat the system. Here's a quick shot of the chassis. Of course, you got your uh, don't just bash blast. And if you can read this, just send it. So of course, we'll be doing that. And it's got the EXB arms like the uh, EXB 6S Creighton. Uh, as far as the geometry uh, change goes, it looks like what they did on the Italian is they just mounted the shock. Uh, it looks like it has the same shock tower. They just mounted the shock uh, uh, position to the outer hole instead of the inner hole like on the uh, Creighton. The new Qatar tires are belted too, which is really awesome. Uh, that's a big upgrade from Armour on that. Um, I did go ahead and vent these, uh, but that should uh, definitely cut out on the on the ballooning and uh, blowing out tires and stuff, uh, especially when you're geared up. So a uh, big thanks to Arma for uh, listening to the bashers on that and uh, getting some nice, a nice uh, belted option for the Italian. Another awesome thing is it does have a bumper now, which is really awesome. Um, it's kind of the same design as the uh, 6S uh, EXB, uh, but it's a little bit smaller version, you know, for the Italian. So it so it fits in there nice, but it'll definitely protect this front end, which before you had no protection at all. And of course, like all the other EXBs, it does have the rubber sealed bearings throughout the entire truck which is really nice. And it comes with the uh, DX3 radio and transmitter, which is a really awesome transmitter. I've had no issues with this whatsoever in the other trucks. Uh, it's got a very nice uh, foam wheel, a nice spring tension in the throttle. It's very comparable to the old Tactics, in my opinion. So it's just a really nice uh, uh, transmitter and setup. Of course, you got your instruction manual, your stickers. Uh, this is your optional 23 tooth speed pinion. You got your tools right here, and then another little uh, baggie right here with some body mounts and stuff like that, which is really cool that they included that. It also comes with these uh, 13 by 16 shims, uh, outer bearing shims, uh, which I would highly recommend these, especially after your gears get worn a little bit, just to kind of help uh, tighten up that ring and pinion a little bit. Here's a quick shot of the box. Arma EXB Italian 6S RTR, 70 plus miles an hour. I'm assuming with the uh, 23 tooth optional pinion. On the side here, it shows you got your Spectrum receiver and radio, which it does have AVC. You got your uh, Spectrum servo, which is 19.08 kilograms. Your um, Firma 150 amp smart waterproof ESC 4S 6S capable, and then your uh, Firma 4074 uh, 2050 kV brushless motor. Again, this car is ready to run, but you will need to uh, provide uh, four AA batteries for your uh, transmitter, a uh, battery charger, and then your uh, lipos, either two 3S or a single 6S. And this Italian does have the uh, EXB gears in it, uh, like the other 6S models, EXB models, uh, with the limited slip. Um, I, I left the uh, differential fluid uh, stock for right now. I'm just going to run with that and uh, see how she handles with the EXP gears before I go messing around with the with the uh, diff weights. I just want to see how she handles out of the box. And huge thanks to Armin Horizon Hobby for sending this out. I can't wait to uh, to give it a run. Uh, the Italian is my all-time favorite uh, just for the speed, the handling. Uh, they're just uh, underrated bastards in my opinion, but it's just one. Of, it's just an amazing truck. So, all right, guys, let's see what's up. Dang, she's fast.
Yeah, guys, I had to cut the uh, AVC off. I didn't realize it was on. It was making the front tires kind of wobble. So I don't really need that bashing anyway. Like it says on the chassis, if you can read this, just send it. So without further ado, let's do that. <laughs> God, I wish they'd cut this grass out here in this field. <laughs> Hey guys, this dirt is super tacky because it just rained earlier. So this thing is getting a lot of traction. Can't really uh, drift it out much. Oh! <laughs> Guys, this thing is definitely a speed basher. Oh, that was LVC. <laughs> Had just enough power to uh, bring her down. Little wet grass slip and slide. That's a good test of those guitars. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll go ahead and call it. It's getting dark out here. But this thing's an absolute animal. Love it. Love the Italian. Again, big shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby for uh, coming up with another awesome uh, vehicle in the EXB line. <laughs> Gosh, she's going to need a bath for sure. But everything on the truck is held up. Uh, really good as far as I could tell um, I did uh, end up bending the back of the chassis right here just a little bit from those high-speed street launches in the beginning of the video uh, when you're, when you're uh, nailing a ramp going 70 miles an hour it puts a lot of stress on the back of that chassis right there but other than that everything's uh has held up just perfect uh, you know for the extreme extreme stuff uh, you know you're gonna need the M2C chassis uh, you know the four millimeter 775 but this three mil uh, 775 definitely holds up uh, for light to moderate bashing and uh, it's you know it's a lot stronger than a stock uh, RTR uh, stamp chassis for sure. So uh, again, big uh, shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby, and uh, we'll get this thing out again soon. Hopefully, it'll be dry, and uh, we'll give it another blast. All right, guys. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.